we have a deep team. We have a team that we like, we like a lot of different guys, and a lot of guys are new. You know, we have new players, and we also have evolved players. So, so Dub, the kind of the theme of this is actually inspired from something you said in training camp oh, no. a couple weeks ago. It, but you made a really good point, interesting point about how you, especially as young players, individually go work on a lot of things in the off season, you're adding things to your game, you're tinkering, you're experimenting, and then you gotta come back into training camp and kind of figure out how do I apply those things. So how have you seen that sort of thing play out? I think everybody has the right approach. I think when you have a group of guys that want to win as a collective, guys are willing to sacrifice individual stuff to make the team better. And I feel like everybody that plays basketball wants to come down and jack threes and you know shoot fadeaways and stuff like that. But just as far as winning, I think we do a good job individually coming together and figuring out what works and what doesn't. And everybody kind of makes sacrifices and that's why we've been able to have success that way. How does that kind of work where you're like personally working on something, but now you got to bring it back to the gym and see how it works with the group? Yeah, it's a unique thing because uh, towards the end of every season you have you know a number of things that you're thinking about working on and you want to get better with so you kind of go out you do your own thing you you know you work out you focus on those you know specific parts of the games that you want to improve you know you apply them and pick up games when you're playing just like you know freely and then you come back before training camp and you have to find ways to you know try to carry over some of the things that you worked on some of the things you improved on but within the team aspect it's unique because, you know, everybody understands that there's something everybody's working on. Right. So everybody knows that there's going to be something you see that you might not have seen from a specific player before. Everybody understands, you know, to be successful, you know, you have to find ways to make it fit within the team. We don't go into the offseason just working on anything, mm -hmm. things that aren't realistic or things that aren't within the team's best interest, you know. We all play with each other, you know, last year for the most part. We kind of know what our role is or what we're trying to grow into. We have a better understanding of what to work on in the summer. So you look at Wiggs, his game isn't like super different from what it was last year. It's just more effective and, you know, I think more decisive and reading closeouts, like stuff like that, like him shooting more threes has been a big emphasis. And that's not something that's been like super different from his career. It's just like finding more catch and shoot opportunities. So being able to play on the catch, I feel like he's, he's got a lot better at that. It, I mean, everybody, know the spin move is tough, but I, this is the most I've seen it, you know. But I feel like he's been working on his, his ISO bag. He's been breaking his man down and getting to his spots. What about J-Dub? Where's he better at? J-Dub's, I mean, he's a guy that's kind of very talented across the board. I think improvement for him was just kind of like adding certain things, because like I know early in his rookie year, he loved to go left and do like a left-hand floater. Now you can't play just his left hand and think that he's not going to go left. He can go right now and he can get to his pull up. He's, you know, much more of a, a guy that you kind of have to respect from the three point line off the dribble as well. So I think for him, kind of just expanding that and trying to get more shots in that role was something that was probably one of his focuses. You have to defend these guys all the time in practice. What about Dub? Where's he gotten better? Um, he's shooting a lot more threes now. Um, last year he was more uh, inside the paint, uh, middies and floaters, but now he's shooting a lot of threes off the dribble catch and shoot threes, step back threes, you're seeing everything. Where have you seen Queso get better? He's somebody that, rookie that played all 82 games and now he's coming into the second season. Where's he better? Uh, definitely defensively. He's guarded some of the toughest guards in the league already and did that for a whole season. He was good for us there, so I think he's just more comfortable in that aspect. Knows what's expected from him every night, but I think defensively he's just getting smarter and he's already super talented, so adding smartness to your already defensive abilities has been really big for him. And yeah, I think just more confidence has been big for him. I mean, I think there's a number of things. I think he got a little bit bigger. I think he, got, he definitely got a little bit stronger and he's looked really good on ball with the ball in his hands, just kind of making plays. I'm not sure how big of a focus it was for him, but you can definitely tell he was in the gym this summer, just working on ball handling, making reads and kind of creating shots and opportunities for himself with the ball in his hands. Like I said, it comes down to guys being realistic on what they're, what's needed from them. What we take pride in is knowing what we weren't good at last year and what we're gonna be doing this year and working on that in the summer. So when we come back to preseason, it's not like this new, you know, you're not reinventing the wheel. I think that's something that everybody's kind of taken here and that's how I work out is, you know, I'm not trying to come down and be a completely different player. I'm just trying to be better at the role that I was already in.